With the Winter Olympics over and most sports wrapping up at this point, we get a chance to look at 2010 sports starting as many fans are fighting off cabin fever. And with baseball just on the cuffs, it means only one thing that's going to be happening. Fantasy leagues are going to be starting up again. Now, maybe this is my incisive cabin fever kicking in, but I've never really gotten into fantasy leagues. For me, these fantasy leagues are camouflage cousins of Dungeons and Dragons or the updated version Magic, which means fantasy leaguers, by my definition, you are nerds. Nerd! And not the type A nerds that you're thinking of. <laughs> the parallels between d and Ders and fantasy leaguers are quite frankly almost identical. First, you have to have a gathering of some kind. Now, this could be in your parents' basement or a comic book store. For fantasy leaguers, it could be in your parents' basement or maybe a sports bar. But most certainly at either gathering, both players are going to be in costume. You could be staring down a stormtrooper or some Reggie Bush wannabe. Second, some sort of hierarchy has to be determined. Who will be the dungeon master or commissioner? Will it be Frodo or some faction of the dark side? Or perhaps it's going to be Joe Buck or Vince Lombardi? Third, a massive complex rules and guidelines on how the game's going to be played. Ironically, both of these things have cards for each side. They could be baseball cards, football cards, magic has cards. I don't know how they work. Everybody's got cards. After that, there's going to be a list of, well, how much damage everybody's going to get. For D&Ders, you're going to have your hit list or your damage points. And your fantasy football leaguers, well, you're going to have your injured reserves or your IR list. Trades and alliances will be formed throughout both battles. And in the end, and the smoke clears, only one will remain victorious. But both will certainly hold up championship rings. Nerds! Nerds. Nerds. Nerds! It doesn't matter whether you're picking Gandalf, Gandalf the Grey, Gandalf the Right, or A-Rod. The battles take place on the same fields, all in your heads. So it's okay to have answers to questions like, how many planets are there in the Dagobah system? Or what was Wade Boggs' average in 1983? Just remember when you're sitting around picking your fantasy leagues, forces, Jedis, who's going where, I don't know. From where I'm sitting, you all look the same. I'm Jason Van Zetten. You can catch me right here on Facebook, YouTube, or Thursday nights, Channel 7 at 8 p.m.